Hey y'all, say hey baby. Hey. So it's been a long overdue since I've done a vlog and I can't even tell you how many times I've started this one and then I stopped. But today is gonna be a fun day so I might as well go ahead and vlog it. So we are at Target right now picking up our Target pickup order. Then we're going to Starbucks and then we will be heading to brunch with the Lumpies. So if you have not followed my friend CR, I'm gonna leave all of her information down below so you can check her out because I know if y'all love me, you'll love her. So it is the five of us in our extremely large truck <laughs> and we're going, but I'm trying to put on some makeup right now and I'm gonna hit y'all back in a second. Okay, so if you are trying to expand your Starbucks palette, I highly recommend looking on Pinterest because I am the most basic person when it comes to drinks. So let's look on Pinterest and see what we can find. Am I feeling fruity or am I feeling coffee, baby? Coffee, can you your body? <laughs> can you just pick one for me? Mm -hmm. No, okay. Okay, I'm gonna be basic. Hi, can I please have a venti ice caramel macchiato with um sweet cold foam? Yeah, venti ice caramel macchiato. Yeah, can I add some of the ribbon crunch on top too? Yes, please. And then can I please have a small water and two Birthday cake pops. Um, no, thank you. Thank you so. No, that'd be all. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's gonna be twelve thirty nine. Thank you. Twelve thirty nine. Why do I look so white? I promise my makeup is not that off, y'all. But yeah, I just decided to make my own thing and see how that is. Um. Yeah, I'll be waiting this extra long line. <laughs> We made it to first watch and it's extremely packed which we probably should have thought about because today is Sunday pretty sure everybody and their mom is going to be out today uh, so we're waiting for CR and Chris to get here to decide what we're going to do I mean like Kendall said we might just end up at bar taco which if you haven't been at bar taco before highly recommend it okay we yeah, this place is nice. We made it to our next destination. We're somewhere in Chapel Hill. Got the whole fam here. Say hey girl. Carmen. Hey Carmen. Yeah, pretty girl. Their menu looks really, really good. We ruined the presentation, but these duck nachos are so good. Highly recommend. So this is what I got. Got the shirt ribs. We got some chicken tenders over here. A whole bunch of yummy food. Hi, Cairo. Hey, baby. Got the two oldest. <laughs> so hey, y'all. Oh, you know what this thing zooming in? Let's okay the other way. All right. Okay, there we go. Hey y'all, so we just got back from brunch. Well, technically lunch. It was amazing seeing our friends. Um, we always seem to have like the nice couple, the couple is, the best couple friends. And then I love the fact that, you know, it's not one of those things like you have to hang out with them as couples. Like me and CR hang out, Chris and Kendall would be good. So that was really ha nice hanging out with them. We stopped at Andy's Frozen Custard to get some ice cream and to feed this little guy before we head off. But yeah, it's been an awesome day. What do you say, Ben? Great day. Yeah, nice way to spend our Sunday. But yeah, let's eat this ice cream. Hey y'all, so we are back home. I also did some grocery shopping while we were, um, I ordered groceries rather, while we were at brunch. So by the time I got home, everything was here. I don't know about y'all, but grocery delivery is so convenient, especially when you don't want to go in a grocery store with three kids 
or maybe you're just busy especially like when we're coming home from trips it is like the most convenient thing because you know what is it about needing groceries when you come home from a trip but anyways um here it is let me go ahead and or organize it and show y'all what we got okay so pretty much with instacart they're supposed to hit you up with their um substitutions and i didn't see anything i need to check but this is not what i ordered but anyways i got a whole cut up frying chicken which i don't really typically i don't know we're gonna have to see this open up i also went ahead and got some rotini pasta i'm thinking about making the tiktok um pasta but with a twist i got some roasted red peppers which is i'm gonna add into that tiktok pasta if you have never had Publix tea or chicken, and I mean cooked chicken, y'all need to get it. So I got some peach tea. I got some easy meals for the kids. I got some chicken. I got the kids some chicken meatballs, which um, is chicken meatballs with a blend of vegetables. This is the Kid Fresh brand, which I really like their stuff. I also went ahead and got some dinosaur shaped nuggets for them. These are my favorite snacks. I got the Ritz toasted chips. I'm sorry, I just had to show y'all this. KJ. Can you put it back on? Look at mommy. I can't. <laughs> Anyways, back to this. Um, these were on a buy one, get one free deal, which I really like that about Publix. I got two packets of the Ritz, or oh not Ritz, Rice Krispies. I also got some fresh basil. And now let's go into our produce. I got some raspberries. Please ignore my kids in the back. A package of strawberries. I have some fresh pineapple. I'm a little bit upset about this because I didn't, well, it is what it is. This is grapes mixed with strawberries, so white grapes and red grapes. Got some Chips Ahoy, some apples, and then I also got grape tomatoes for the um, TikTok pasta. Okay, going on with the produce, I have yellow onions and a pack of peppers. And then here in the middle, I have four packets of Lunchables, which I like to give them this for like easy lunch. I got feta cheese, which it wasn't supposed to be the crumbles, it was supposed to be the block, but okay. And then mozzarella cheese. So we're back home, which I think I said that in the last clip and once I'm home, the body is back on. But it was an amazing time. Like I said earlier, we had a lot of fun. Um, so I've already ordered my groceries. I'm pretty much going to be tidying up for the night. I was going to make the TikTok pasta tonight, but it's already 520. The kids have to go to bed in, what, two two hours and 40 minutes and we're pretty much still filled from brunch so what i'm pretty much what i'm gonna do i don't know why i keep saying pretty much for the kids they're probably just gonna have a lunchable and then some fruit to go with that if they're still hungry i can give them some little bites um or some applesauce one of the two just something light because they don't really need a lot and then i and probably not gonna be hungry like that. If I am, I'll figure something out. Um, tomorrow, I think I'm gonna have, hold on y'all. Anyways, I was about to say, tomorrow's Monday. We have a lot going on um, this week. I have a trip, do y'all see that? That's all KJ. I have a trip on Saturday, but we'll be spending the night at a hotel on Friday, which I will explain a little bit later why. Um, but yeah, so, I have a lot going on this week. The kids have school two times this week. I have some work that I have to do. I'm probably gonna have a housekeeper come in tomorrow. I like to have somebody come in and clean the kitchen and bathrooms every once in a while. The last time that they were here was like maybe two or three weeks before Cairo was born. So it's not like a monthly or bi-monthly or quarterly thing. It could be quarterly though, but um, I definitely recommend it if you need like if y'all need a break hire out as much as you can like I said grocery shopping is a thing I spend the $3.99 to have somebody deliver my groceries because think about it that's probably what I would spend um if not even a little bit more driving to the grocery store sometimes even if I don't feel like going in the grocery store I just do pick up and that's completely free and it's it's it helps okay um the kids have school which is great so on tuesdays and thursdays they go into school what else like i said the housekeeper she's very affordable if i really put it in the budget i could probably get her to come in at least once a month um but yeah if you if you got it definitely go for it um 
what else was I about to say? So yeah, I'm about to, I'm waiting for my laptop to charge. I'm going to have a blog come out. So it's just some work here. I will talk to y'all in a bit. So I asked on my Instagram stories if y'all had any questions for my vlog and pretty much I got like 10 responses wanting to know where I've been and why I've taken my hiatus off of YouTube. My kids. So I'm going to make this as short as possible. YouTube used to be my complete happy space. I used to love everything about YouTube. I was that person very ready to pick up my camera every day, edit content and put it put content on the internet and put it on YouTube, obviously. And it got to a point that it was no longer my happy space. I think that that came at a point when we were transitioning a lot of things in our lives. We were leaving Georgia. It was a lot of stressful time. I had a miscarriage a few months prior to that. We were trying to figure out where we were going to live next. Um, what else? Not that I care so much about what people say, but my comments started to turn into like this negative place and you guys wouldn't have seen it for the simple fact that I had my comments on, um, it was on restricted hold, meaning that I had to go in and actually allow every comment to come in because it got to a point where it just became negative. I don't even need to name everything out of it. And by the time I was ready to come back on YouTube, I was pregnant with KJ, which you guys saw a little bit about that, but y'all didn't see the whole nine yards. Um, I did a little bit after KJ was born and it just wasn't like, I think after that first break, when we left Georgia, it just was not my happy place anymore. Like YouTube just wasn't it for me. Um, and I don't want to feel that way because YouTube was technically one of my first places to go, you know. Um, and then you guys saw me document a little bit in the beginning about Cairo's pregnancy. And I kind of feel like my YouTube channel got completely shadow banned. Um, my number never increased. It constantly decreased. And I'm not saying that I wasn't possibly losing followers. I know that. But, like, I would get notifications that would say... I got a hundred new followers, but it wouldn't show that on my numbers. It would like be weird. My views would be all over the place. And then my money was all over the place, which my YouTube channel had been monetized for some time. So I was a little bit confused. Um, I thought maybe like, I felt like what I was feeling about my channel being shadow banned was correct, but I didn't want to like say it before somebody would be like, no, you're just not getting any views, which is possible as well. But it was a video on YouTube. TikTok that I put out a while ago. I got so many comments from people saying, I used to watch you on YouTube. I didn't even know you had two more kids. Like it was that crazy because they hadn't seen my channel and they'll say they would go in and type in beautiful Drea and nothing would nothing new would pop up. So that was weird to me. But anyways, started this new channel. I don't know how often I would post, but I know for a fact that I can at least post twice a month. And one of them will definitely be a vlog, if not all of them. But thought I should answer that question. So I'm editing this video and I realized I never came on to say bye or whatever. So bye y'all. Thank you so much for watching this. Definitely stay tuned. I know I'm going to be vlogging this weekend. I have a kid free trip that I'm beyond excited for. And I know you guys will enjoy the content. But anyways, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and everything else. And comment. Comment something.